Hello, this is Jeremy from Coral View, welcoming you back to another episode of CVTV. Today we will be covering the essentials of how to assemble, set up, and operate your new Reef Octopus Essence protein skimmer. For nearly a decade, Reef Octopus has provided us with an assorted array of skimmer models known for their durability and performance. Over the years, skimmer model by skimmer model, there has always been the same challenges. Sound, performance, reliability, ease of maintenance, space, ease of use, cost, and even appearance are all challenges skimmers face. Some models meet these challenges better than others. With the challenges in mind, Reef Octopus went back to the drawing board and came up with a completely new design never seen before that addresses the challenges with efficiency and style. The Essence is a remarkably compact in-sump protein skimmer that offers a whole new experience in refined saltwater filtration. There's a reason why the beer bottle shape has its distinct curves and why it is ideal for foam refractionation. The elegant body tapers upward to the very top of the neck, naturally stabilizing the air and water mix and gently uplifting organic compounds to the surface for foam collection. At the core of the Essence skimmer is the quiet and efficient Aquatrans pinwheel pump by Reef Octopus. The Essence output is perhaps the skimmer's most innovative feature. It can't get any easier with its calibrated click dial control which completely takes away the second guessing of your skimmer setting. The skimmer's unique 360 submerged output disperses water gently into the sump without turbulence providing a quiet splash-free discharge. Before we begin assembly, let's locate, inspect, and identify all components supplied with your new protein skimmer. Please refer to the parts and assemblies diagram located in your user's manual. To begin, we must install the Aquatrans pump by pulling the four red fasteners on each of the lower corners of the skimmer body outwards and lift the body from the base. Pull the wire sleeve for the pump cord out and aside. Glide the pump forward onto its holder, located in the middle of the skimmer base. Make sure that the power cord is facing the notch for the wire sleeve we removed. Slip the power cable into the wire sleeve and reinstall to the skimmer base. Before we connect the body back to the skimmer base, we need to carefully push the diffusion chamber onto the output of the pump. Center the diffusion chamber and install the skimmer body matching the hole on the body with the intake of the pump. Push in the four red tabs on the fasteners and ensure the body is secured to the skimmer base. Insert the venturi through the hole that is lined up with the intake of the skimmer pump. Connect the smaller of the two provided hoses to the air venturi and up to the silencer in the neck of the skimmer. If needed, the tubing can be cut with a sharp pair of scissors. Grab the output adjustment pipe and insert it into the hole at the base of the skimmer while guiding the holder into the clip at the top of the skimmer body. The adjustment pipe itself can rotate to the desired direction for easy access of the dial. Make sure that the valve is all the way open by turning the knob counterclockwise. Carefully install the skimmer in the sump at the suggested water depth. For the actual water level of your particular skimmer model, please head on over to www.coralview.com. Place a collection cup with lid on top of the rim of the skimmer and twist clockwise to lock in place. To remove the cup, simply twist counterclockwise and lift away from the skimmer body. The collection cup comes with the optional drain if you wish to run the skimmer to a collection container. To do this, Remove the black rubber plug and attach the drain hose, which is the larger of the two hoses included with your skimmer. With the output valve completely open, plug the pump's power plug into the electrical socket. A generous mix of air and water should now be filling your skimmer body. To tune your skimmer to your aquarium, simply close the output valve by turning it counterclockwise until you retain pea-sized bubbles at the point where the collection cup mounts to the skimmer body. Allow the skimmer to acclimate to the new setting for 24 hours or before making any further adjustments. The more closed the output valve becomes, the wetter the waste collection will become. Warning: 
Do not attempt dialing in the protein skimmer any sooner than two weeks. You must allow the skimmer to break in prior to tuning it. It is common for a skimmer to not fully break in for four weeks. During this time, skimmer's performance can be very unpredictable. Patience is a virtue. Proper maintenance is required to ensure your skimmer is working at optimal performance, and we suggest that you remove the pump for maintenance every four to six months. It allows you to ensure that the skimmer pump is clean and free of any calcium buildup, as well as check inner parts of the pump and inspect the impeller for damage and regular wear. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about Reef Octopus Essence Protein Skimmers, including detailed specs, beautiful high quality pictures and replacement parts, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Coralview Aquarium Product.